Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part 11 of our series of session on F12 configuration for voucher type. So we have been seeing the configurations related to purchase voucher. And I had mentioned that there are similarity of the configuration related to purchase voucher and sales voucher. That means majority of the configuration that we have understood and learned in the previous sessions will apply for sales voucher also. Now in this session, I'm going to show you the configuration which are common related to purchase and sales. And we will see a couple of more options under the sales voucher. Let's go to tally and explore these options under sales voucher. We are in the sales voucher. Today in this session, let us see very simple, yet very useful and handy configurations. So let us go to F12 configuration. I'm going to press F12 configuration. So the first of the option that we will understand today is provide additional description for ledger. What is this option? If you are a service provider where you don't use inventory module in tally, as you are aware that tally allows you to do the invoicing as a service provider also. And tally gives an option of raising an accounting invoice. So that is where this option is going to be very helpful. Let me give you a simple use case. Let us say that you are a chartered accountant, tax consultant, auditor or a freelance accountant where you would now want to raise an invoice for your customer. So normally you will use your ledger as the particulars for capturing the type of service that you are providing. While invoicing, if you would want to capture additional information of the type of services that you have provided, that is where this option is going to be very handy for you. Once you make this option as yes, the moment you select your accounting ledger in the invoicing, it will ask you to provide additional description where you can provide the nature of service that you have provided in a more descriptive way. So let us now make this option as yes and let us see how this option is going to be helpful for us when we are doing the invoicing. So I come here, click here and then I press Y and press enter and I'm going to press control A. Let me select a party India Mart enter. Now this is the invoicing that you're going to do with the inventory item. So that is why it is asking you for the name of the item. How do we now change this inventory invoice to accounting invoice? On the right hand side button bar, you have this button called change mode. So click on change mode. So we are going to have these three options which we have already seen this in the earlier video. Now we want to do an accounting invoice. So you come here for accounting invoice, select accounting invoice and make sure that the option here is particulars. If it is particulars, then it means that you are now going to select the accounting ledger. When I come here and then press space bar, you will see tally is going to give you the list of ledgers which you can select for your billing purpose. Let us say that I'm going to raise an invoice to my customer for some service charges that I have provided. So I'm going to select the ledger called service charges enter and this is where you are going to get this additional information to be captured once you enable the option in F12 configuration. Now here I can mention in detail about the nature of service that I have provided to the client so that the client is clear about the charges that I am charging in this invoice for the services that I have provided or for the kind of service that I have provided. So here I'm going to say counting charges for the year 2021-22. So this way you can have any number of lines for 
providing the description the advantages when you are now going to print your invoice tally is going to print this invoice along with the additional description that you are providing so that when the client is receiving your invoice he is clear about the nature of service i enter here and what is the charges that you are going to charge let us say i am going to say 25000 is what i am going to charge enter and you are going to save this voucher now this is your bill wise detail enter and accept this voucher when you are going to print this invoice let us see what is the additional information we are going to see in the invoice so i am going to press page up to recall my previously saved voucher and i am going to go to print click on print here and i want to print the current screen so i am going to press enter here and you have this option here one is to configure preview before printing and print it is also going to give you the name of the printer the paper size everything is there which is configurable so here let us go to configure click on configure and make sure whether we have enabled the additional description for the ledger to be printed on the face of the invoice so show additional description for ledger this is the option and this option is already set to yes you don't have to save this you can just press now before printing let us just have a preview so i click on preview and this is the preview i am going to zoom here and if you notice here the additional description that you have specified gets captured here so that it gives more clarity for your client on the nature of service that you have provided i hope this session would have given you a clear understanding of the commonality between the configuration related to purchase voucher and the configuration related to sales voucher so you can make use of this vouchers as required by your organization to manage your data in a much much better way so thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much